Hello, here's a quick uh, video on the graphics features in CirclePad. And let's go over to CirclePad here. So to start off, we're going to look at uh, look at some techniques. So let's get rid of the, the starting stuff. And let's load up a photo. Um, I've got a photo here. Let's load this uh, monkey guy. So to start off with, we you're probably familiar with, you can make objects bigger and smaller by moving them around. But what you can also do is grab this pivot point in the center and use that to control where you make it bigger and smaller. So if I move it to this corner, it'll scale around that corner. If I move it to this, this one over here, it'll scale around that corner. Same thing with rotation. If I want it to rotate around this point, I put it there. If I have, let's say I had, uh, I had a little square, right? And, uh, oops, that's, a, that's another trick. If I had a, a square here, and I wanted the monkey's tail to rotate around exactly that corner. Well, I can select the monkey, move this over to that corner, and you see it'll rotate. The tail is always touching the corner as I rotate around. Another great trick that you can do uh, in Circle Pad is you can add uh, effects to photos. So if I load up uh, this image here, I can grab this, and move it around, and I can give it a drop shadow. So if I click on Edit Objects, I give it a drop shadow. I can control how dark it is. I control the angle of the drop shadow, the distance, I can how far it is, and how blurry it is. I can also, and I can click on remove effects to get rid of those at any time. I can also blur objects. So I can come over here and blur that onto the page. And you can blur photos. You can get, uh, you can get shapes and blur them. So if I wanted like a, uh, sorry, if I have that selected, it'll end up cropping it. So if I have to have nothing selected. So if I, I wanted this triangle here and I wanted that to be, uh, I'm not sure why, but let's say he had a triangle on his head, a blurry triangle. Well, I could select that and uh, edit objects and then hit blur. And then there's the, there's the blur. So I can, I can easily add these kinds of effects. I can also add transparency. So if I open up a, uh, a photo here, example I take uh, this one here and I want to do this uh, I want some transparent text on here so let's say I, I have some new text I'll scale it up I'll change the font to a uh, let's say we change it to more of a let's say it's a, a space font space okay lemon and this says lemon Lemon. Except I can't. I spelled lemon wrong. Here we go. One second. Lem lemon. Okay. So we've got this text here that says lemon, and we want it so you can see a little bit of the of the lemon through the text. So I'll we'll change the color. It's right here in the color. So let's say it was black text. I just go click on the transparent. See, as you move your mouse and you hold it down it's a little bit like a slider as you move your mouse with the mouse held down you can interactively see the color change now same thing with the transparency so as I click here on the transparency as I move it I can interactively see how transparent that text is now another trick that you can do here say I get a uh, I get a shape let's say we want this all in a uh, in a rounded rectangle so I'm going to increase the detail of that rectangle so the lines are a little little straighter and I'll move it underneath okay change the color so so by default you're changing the color of the fill of the object so I can edit this object and I can move it underneath now what if we wanted to change the color of we wanted a line around it so I just go on to color I click on line color and then as I as I mouse over on here that's changing the line color of the object. So if I want, say, a, a bluish line color on this, then that'll update that. So if I wanted to remove the line color, I could select this over here and click No Line Color. Or I could also click on No Fill Color if I wanted just a line. So another trick is if we had, a, uh, if we had uh, another shape here, and say I got a, uh, a star for some reason, and I want to have that star have the same color as the lemon. So I can click here on color. Well, I can just click on the, the background here, click Copy Colors. 
So you see the star became that color. Click on the star and click on that and then it copied. You can either copy the outline or the, or the inside there. Another technique that comes up a lot in CirclePad, like say as I'm moving this text, let's say this was a little bit smaller and we had a couple of these in behind. So already you can see the problem I'm having. I'm having trouble um, moving these objects around because this is over top. So if this was uh, moved over top. So if I want to be able to select these without selecting the text, I can use locking. So you just select the thing you don't want to be selecting, click on lock, and then you don't select it. Even though this is underneath, I never select the, the thing over top. And then finally, when I do want to make changes, I can click on unlock all. And then at that point, you can select everything in, in the order it is. OK, so finally, a final technique in terms of um, in terms of graphics is alignment. So we can go click on page setup and give ourselves a grid if we want to uh, finally control where things are oriented. So here we go. So this is like 10 or 15. You can see we can line things up. Say we want these the exact same height. Now, just moving the mouse may not be enough to align well. But a great trick is to use the arrow keys. So that moves it just one pixel. So you can exactly line things up and get them in the right place. So that's a quick overview of the graphics features. Uh, I hope you find that found that helpful.